Welcome back for some more Undertale. We just had our very <laughs> unsuccessful date with Papyrus in the last one. That's the main takeaway from it. That's the main thing I remember. And I believe, I guess we've gone under some sort of waterfall and we're in a hallway. Let's just do it. So I believe we saw Undyne in the last one in that suit of armor. I think that's who that was. Either way, let's keep going. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. <laughs> that's adorable. Okay, that's easy. And done. Beautiful. Music. So good. Oh, how do we get to that sign? I wonder where the sign. Who <laughs> is that like a Aaron flexes in? <laughs> it looks like a horse. Oh, a seahorse. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Aaron, yeah, we gotta check him. You always gotta check him. Shoe or flex? Probably flex. And lots of attack. This seahorse has a lot of HP. Horsepower. <laughs> I see that. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Noted. Check all you want. Wink. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I get ya. They're like freaking shrimp, so I'm pretty sure they're just flexing. Aaron is sweating bullets. Literally. Yeah, damn right. Let's flex right back at him, right? You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. <laughs> Superb. Flexing contest. Okay. Flex more. Wink. Oh, are those... Oh, yes. But he's sweating bullets, man. <laughs> Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay, he wants some more, does he? <laughs> I'll show you some guns. He flex harder. Aaron flexes harder. Sorry, Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice, nice. I won't lose though. Wink. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, so I think oh, this one might be easier from the bottom. Okay, I always hug the sides. It's a mistake. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Should we keep flexing? Let's try shooing. You tell Aaron to go away. Wow, spunky. Love it. Wink. Oh boy. Okay, this is actually, oh, went too far over. We're alright though, it's alright. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay, I think we might have to keep flexing. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> you won! A 30 gold noise. Okay. Oh, I see. We need to use the flowers to get to the side. I'm hoping we find out the solution to the puzzle. Uh, hang on. Hey, okay. Oh, they go straight across. Right. So this is how we have to do it. Okay, yeah. I figured it out. We good. Now, no side will go unread if I have anything to say about it in this game. Oh, shoot. Can we reset it by leaving the screen? Might go save too because we lost a bit of HP to that seahorse. All right, let's do this again. I want to read me a sign. It better be worth it. Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> worth it. I don't even care. I'm glad we did that. All right, let's do the puzzle properly this time, I guess, since apparently that's what the game wants. I could do that. Oh, hang on, there's another sign up there. And a bell? Is that a bell? If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seats back to where they started. Okay, that was... <laughs> that would have been useful a few minutes ago. But you know what? Whatever. Once again, I'm okay with the way things went down. Hang on. Do four need to connect? Is that... Is that what I'm learning right now? Because if so, we'd probably need to do it right here. Yeah, I think it needs to be four. Ring that bell. Me. Oh, that still doesn't work, though. Do four just have to touch? Because I kind of understand how that might work. I don't know if they need to be in a perfect line. They have to be in a perfect line. Okay, this complicates things mildly. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So they need to be four across. This should not be that hard. I think I figured it out. I think I think I got this now. Hopefully. Yeah, this feels pretty obvious at this point. Yeah, this will work. This is the solution. We done figured it out eventually. I mean, our recording's only been going for nine minutes. It didn't take me that long, okay? <laughs> At least, assuming this works. It still might not. 
Yeah, we did. Phew. That was surprisingly challenging. Oh, we're getting a call. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? Uh, excuse me, Papyrus, I thought you weren't interested. I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Oh, <laughs> I might be. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? <laughs> what will you say? Oh, well, yes, yes, I am, Papyrus. You like it? <laughs> so you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. Okay, well, that was useful. <laughs> A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all of your heart, your wishes would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh, because I can't see the sky anymore because they're locked in a cave? Okay, read the sign. Wishing room. Aw. Can we make a wish? Oh, hope there's another frickin- What? <laughs> what is this? Does he have a little duck in his head? Washwa? Shuffles up. Washwa? <laughs> uh, check it. Touch cleaner joke. Uh, this humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the world. The whole world. That's quite the tall order, little guy. <laughs> Tweet. <laughs> Whistle as it cleans. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, shoot. Can we still need to move? Washwa is friends with the little bird. I see that. It's a very cute little bird. Um, let's see. Clean. You ask Washwa to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Clean means clean. Oh, green means clean. Hell yeah. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Challenge, we've got a challenge. Wash was friends with a little bird, yes. We need to get him to clean again, and we gotta get the green. Got it. Ooh, didn't get it very well, but we got it. <laughs> Wash was looking for some good clean fun, aren't we all, buddy? A mercy. You won! We earned 25 gold? Noise. Should we check all the flowers? Are these people's wishes? Monster's wishes? Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Maybe. The telescope. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Well, that's pretty sad. Look through the telescope? Yeah. Oh. Check wall. Check why. So I want to look around a bit. This, this is pretty. Okay. Check wall. But first let's read this flower. Uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Okay. Uh, check the wall over here, right? This is the way it was pointing. Uh, let's advance and maybe <laughs> it'll be obvious if there's a wall we need to check. Oh, this wall probably. Yeah. Alright. Can we go in? Yep. Oh, it's like a dock. A marsh? Ancient writing covers the walls. You could just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Dude, humans kind of suck. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human's body, even after death. Oops. Uh, yeah, next. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with an unfathomable power. Uh, is that what the king wants as a soul? Potentially our soul? It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh, no, no, hang on. I think there was another dock over on the left side. Uh, can we go back? No, hang on. Uh-oh. Oh, well, we might have to reload. So I can see what the other thing is. Ooh, oh. Is this gonna be undying? Hi. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're locked in. We're locked in. This is tense. We probably just want to keep going this way. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's scary. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, go down quick. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> Undyne, you kind of suck. Stop it, stop. 
I'm just a little kid. Stop throwing freaking spears at me. Ooh. Oh, into the grass. If I recall correctly, she doesn't see the grass very well, right? <gasps> oh, no, no, no. She's kind of creepy. Hi. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> Did she just fucking kill that kid? Or did she just grab it? I think she just grabbed it. Um... Are we okay? Okay, we're okay. Okay. Oh! Oh, can't move. Oh, okay, it's okay! Phew. Hey, buddy! Yo, did you see that? Undyne just... touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I'm sure we will, kid. <laughs> Be careful there, buddy. Can we go down here? Okay. I presume the dock on the other piece of land led nowhere, I hope. Ooh, another save. What is up with these mouse rooms too, eh? What's what, what's up with them? Squeak. Oh, <laughs> it mimicked the mouse. What is this? Cheese. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Surprise, surprise. Interesting. Yes, save. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. It fills you with determination. Yes, save. And let's continue. Oh, Sans, what's up, man? Looking at the, uh, the stars, or rather, the ceiling with the stars on it. I'm thinking about getting into this telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Uh, hell yeah, I'll use it. Thanks, man. Uh, presumably a clue somewhere on here. Why is it all red? What are we even looking at? Do I want to know? This, this, this telescope's pretty freaking broken, man. This, this is kind of lame, Sans. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Yeah, the whole price of free. It's an odd-looking telescope. Do we have a black eye? Oh, from the telescope sands, you little gooster. <laughs> Classic. Use the box? Yes. Except I don't think we really need to. Unicycle? Do I have a unicycle? What did I get that? I need to pay better attention to what's going on in this game, man. Yeah, let's check it. Info. Unicycle heals 11 HP. It's a single pronged popsicle. Wait, that's just normal. <laughs> uh, hi, little onion looking guy. Oh, it's a star. Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Uh, are you a star? Nope. Oh, this place is freaking beautiful. Oh, hang on. No, I need to explore. This place is huge. Oh, oh, oh duck. Hey. Oh, a little get to that little guy. He's adorable. Now, let's check this door up here first. Yeah. Oh, Popsicle Man! Yeah, let's buy some ice cream. Uh, I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Oh, fortunately. Oh, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Yes, I am familiar with the system. I wish I had known that before I bought, like, ten of them. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Yes, now just 25 G. Ooh, they got a bit more pricey. Super! Here you go, your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. I'll buy one more. Though our inventory's full now, so maybe I'll put one away. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Dude! Can't just do that. The box contains two cards. Take a card. Oh, I don't have any space! You're carrying too much. Okay, I see. Maybe we have to turn off all of these things before that one door opens. No, I actually think it'll reset whenever you leave the screen, right? Yeah, it does, okay. Phew! <laughs> because I might have missed a couple. Uh, yeah, let's... <sighs> Alright, this is good. We could probably get rid of the toy knife. Nice cream, mainly bandana. Uh, let's go get our punch card, I guess. Oh, the inventory management is a challenge in itself in this game. Yeah, take one. Okay, I think this is the only way we could actually go. 
place is pretty weird. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? These are very insightful little flowers. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Oh, I want to hear it. I like stupid wishes. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, we haven't seen these guys in a while. Molt smalls. I think you could literally just spare them. They're kind of just a waste of time. <laughs> oh. Something in here? It's a pair of ballet shoes to go with the tutu. Will you take it? Oh, I can't. I don't have any inventory. Hang on. Can we drop something? Let's see. We'll remember it's here and potentially come back for those shoes. Another call. What do you bet it's Papyrus again? Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend you wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. Oh, Undyne. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question. You would obviously change your clothes. Oh, that would have been smart. She's gonna be looking for somebody to tutu. You're such a smart cookie. This is why you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Okay. Well, I appreciate... <laughs> I appreciate that, man. So we're gonna... Oh. Okay, we have to go back to the box. That's what we have to do. I gotta resituate my items. And figure this out. Another Aaron flexes in. All right, time for yet another flex off. You flex, Aaron flexes twice as hard. Yeah, such a dude this guy is. Ooh, yep, flex again. Oop, frick, I F that, I F that, I goofed. Ooh, I did not do good there. All right, let's just use an item so we can get our shoes. <laughs> we'll use an ice cream. Uh, and flex. Perfect. Nice. I probably didn't need to use that ice cream, but you know what? That's fine. I can go put on the tutu or the dance shoes, ballet shoes, whatever. And hopefully be safe from Undyne finding us. Hopefully. Yeah, take the ballet shoes. Yeah, let's put them on. Info first, as always. Ballet shoes. Attack- oh, weapon attack seven. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. So I guess it's a weapon? <laughs> weapon ballet shoes, old tutu. Yeah, let's head back to our box so we can put on the old bandana for now. And I'll put the tutu on later when we're hopefully safely out of this place. Where we're clearly being stalked by potentially Undyne, the one and only. Okay, manly bandana. Oh shoot, we're full. We could probably get rid of the tough glove. I think we'll just have to get rid of it. You could manly bandana, and then we'll put the uh, tutu back in the box. The old dusty tutu. All right, let's let's continue on then. <laughs> All right, which one should we do first? I feel like cleaning will be tough with also having to dodge the big biceps, right? Let's try. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we got it. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So let's spare. No need for a Okay, okay, you're just coming right through. You are just eager to flex those muscles. And flex. Ooh, I get too eager. Flex. Oh, hang on. Oh, not so bad, not so bad. All right, we good. <laughs> 55 gold, nice. That'll get us some nest cream. I gotta check all of these flowers. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Ooh, we get to hear the wish, the stupid wish, because yes, please. You know, most of my wishes are pretty stupid too. 
what does this say? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Are they trying to take my soul? I guess we kind of already knew that, yeah. Spare. Oh, it's quiet in here. <gasps> is that a tentacle? That looks like a tentacle. Or a tail. It might be a tail. Oh, there's another one! I feel like it wants to attack me. Can't move! Oh, oh look at him. He's so cute! Hey there! Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sam. Onion Sam, you hear? I hear. You're pretty cute. <laughs> You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here. Huh? You love it, huh? Oh gosh. Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Uh... Getting uncomfortable here. Even though the water's getting uh, so shallow here. I had to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Yeah, pretty good call, man. You got the place to yourself, I see. And the aquarium's full. Uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? <laughs> that's cool, man. I hope that happens for you. Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> That was a cute little interaction. Very friendly. I like the people here. Waterfall. What is this? Interesting. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Uh, yeah, let's check. Do you know the drill? Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Oh, is it a siren? Shiren. Okay, I get it. Too t uh. Oh, oh. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Shyron hums very faintly. Uh, I feel like hum. What's hum? Oh, she likes it! Hi! You hum a funky tune. Shyron follows your melody. Siri, Siri. I don't know how to read that. Oh, oh, oh. She's going wild now. Not so shy anymore, are we? Shyron seems much more comfortable singing along. Aw. Well, that was fun. Yeah, spare. You won. We earned 30 gold streets. Let's read the sign. The northern room hides a great treasure. Well, then let's go to the freaking northern room, yeah? Well, piano. Uh. There's a piano here. Play it? Yeah, I see the tune we need to do right there on the wall. Oh. Not bad. I'm a natural. Done. Beautiful. Perfect. Let's read the wall. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. If only the first eight are fine? What does that mean? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Uh, let's go to the other side and see what we see there, and maybe that'll give us a hint to what we're supposed to do on the piano. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. Good. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Hmm. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Uh, interesting. Oh! Is it raining? Let's check out the statue. It's a statue! The structure at its feet seemed dry. The structure at its feet seemed dry. Why is there a spotlight on it? Let's check the next screen. Oh, umbrellas! Can we get one for the statue there? Please take one! I will. Hopefully we don't need inventory space. You took an umbrella! Okay, let's go back to the statue and see if we can give it to him. It looks like he needs it. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yeah! You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play! Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to replicate that. Oh, here we go. Hang on, I'm gonna need to write this down. Alright. 
The music continues and doesn't stop. Excellent. Let's go play that on the piano then, shall we? Yes, we shall. And we will. That might not have been right. Yes. Try again. There we go. We got it. Excellent. Okay, I wasn't hitting the circle one by itself. Uh, no, I think we're good. Let's go through this door. Oh, what is this? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Do we have room? Yeah. You're carrying too much. Dang it. Okay. Let's just use a nice cream. Annoying dog. Uh, when did we pick up an annoying dog? <laughs> Let's inspect it. Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Can we use it? You deployed the dog. Oh! Hi, buddy! The dog absorbs the artifact. Wait! That's not what I wanted to happen! Hang on! Get Bill! Oh, he just took my artifact! I don't imagine that was what was meant to happen. I should have just taken the artifact. Oh well, it's gone now. <laughs> well, that was odd and regrettable. Hopefully I didn't just screw something up. We're gonna go with it anyway. Whew, I wonder if it would have absorbed any item that was in front of us when we used it. I don't know, but whatever. Let's take another umbrella. Take an umbrella? Take one, yeah. Hopefully it's okay we took more than one. We might need it. Oh yeah, we need it all right. Oh look, at there's a reflection in the puddle. That looks amazing. Oh, this game is so cute. Hey, buddy! Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Yeah, get in here. Let's go! <laughs> Stay close, buddy. You don't want to get wet. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm so relaxed right now. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. <laughs> what? No way she was going to beat me up. <laughs> Yeah, dude, same. Same. I mean, honestly, after her whole spear-throwing extravaganza, I probably would too. <laughs> oh, hang on. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Oh, Dreamer. I think I mispronounced that horribly last time we saw it. If we saw it, it looks familiar. Volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> yeah, you are like in love with this girl, man. Why does he like Undyne so much? Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. I'm innocent and she freaking tried to hurt me, pretty sure. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Is that where the king lives? I guess he's just gonna stay here. Oh, no. So, are we seeing the sky with the stars or just a ceiling with fake stars right now? Uh, should we put this back? Return the umbrella. Yeah, I assume we're done with it. Put it back. You return the umbrella. Oh, are you gonna help me up? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. I am seeing that now. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Thanks, man. What about you? Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> so adorable. I right, guess we're on our own again. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Oof. You know, I kind of had a feeling that that's what happened from the beginning, that the humans probably were the ones who initiated it. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Ugh. The serene sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. Save, yes. Waterfall bridge. Guess we're crossing the bridge. Uh, God, you're really quiet again. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, crap.
A dice bow? Okay. This is doable. This ain't so bad. I've dealt with worse. Actually, honestly, it's a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Oh, shoot! Okay, I lied. <laughs> and then I F it up. Hopefully we're going the right way. I see there's multiple paths. Uh, oof. Okay. 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 Oh, this is wrong. This is wrong! Let's go up. Okay, now I'm screwing up all over the place. It's getting more complicated now. Okay, we want to go down then. Gotcha. It's a lot easier when you have a destination in mind. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, okay, hey god. Hey god. Oh no, I can't eat my ice cream! Okay, we can't screw up. Oh god. Oh, and we died. My own fault. I got cocky. Our fate rests upon you. Mar. <laughs> Stay determined. Oh, I will. We're going again. Right now. Let's do it. I am freaking ready. And dying. Bring it. You spear wielding a bitch. Though I get the feeling the monsters are the good guys and the humans are the bad guys in this one. I'm pretty sure. Let's do it. How did I already screw that up? That's fine. I do so much damage. Oh. Okay, we're okay. This way? No. That's wrong. Ooh, I just stood on that one. I was holding down. I should not have been holding down. Yeah, I knew that was gonna hit me. Oh god, I'm screwed up all over the place. I think we're gonna die again here. Oh my god. Uh, is this the wrong way? I think this is the wrong way. Oh, man. Oh, she's going fucking nuts right now. Holy crap, slow down, woman. Just a child. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we can't get hit again. Oh, there's a way right there. How did I miss that? Oh, she's going so nuts. Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna be over. Come on. Marl, we could do this. Get out of there. Oh, no. Dead end. Undyne? Are you going to kill me now? Are we okay? Do we go back? Huh. Uh. Ooh. <sighs> it's time. Come face to face. Uh. <sighs> What the frick? Why? Why'd she hate me so much? What did I do to her? It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Marl? <laughs> huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Oh, another flower bed. What a strange coincidence. We happen to land in another one. Who was just talking to us? Oh, we can go in the water a little bit here. Probably don't want to. Oh, what's this? What's this? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. <laughs> just garbage. Full of brands, apparently. Oh, lots of garbage. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. Yes, save. Okay. Uh, piles of garbage. There are quite a few. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Okay, it's the same thing. Let's continue. I should probably stop here, but I'm gonna keep going. I wanna know who was talking to us when we fell. A bike! <laughs> you rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a hawk of despair. Aww. 
Uh, piles of garbage. Yes, brands. What is this? A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's already been scavenged for parts. A cooler? It's a cooler. It has no brand. It shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of frozen dried space food bars. Take one? Sure. You got an astronaut food. <laughs> mm. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. This is strange. Is that the dummy? Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Okay, don't worry, I'm not going to beat you up today, dummy. I wonder if we could have talked to it if we did. Oh! Oh, he's alive! Buddy, I spared you! I didn't even attack you when I could have! <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! My cousins used to live inside a dummy, too! Until... You came along! When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat! But the things you said... Horrible! Shocking! Unbelievable! It spooked them right out of their dummy! Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body! <laughs> oh, ew, look at him! That's messed up looking. Mad dummy blocks the way. Uh, yeah, check. Uh, da -da. Defense, yes. <laughs> because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. It's okay, I'm not gonna attack you anymore. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Yeah, bring it, buddy. Oh, oh, this this is fun. Oh, ooh, they're switching it up now. Another great theme. Oh, you dummies! Did it just hit him? Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! <laughs> hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. Clearly he's weak to magic. Mad Dummy is looking nervous. Let's just talk to him. You talk to the dummy, right? Just like Toriel told us. Taught us, rather. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. <laughs> I'll defeat you and take your soul. Oh, shoot. Oh, we gotta aim the magic at him, don't we? Yeah, that's what we need to do. I get ya. Mad Dummy glares into the mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Mad Dummy, we'll talk to him again. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Okay, same dialogue. No one is happy with this. I'll use your soul. Okay, get up there. Whoop. <laughs> Got lucky with that one. Now he's gonna be moving. Mad Dummy glares into the mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Right. Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, I hope I didn't kill him. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me! I'm still in Corporal, you dummy! <laughs> Wait, is dummy a compliment? Uh, I would say no. Oh lord. Okay, okay. Not good. Got him. Got him. Mad dummy is hopping mad. Let's use a bicycle. You one half. Recovered 11 HP. I'll sit in the window of a fancy store. Yeah, that's kind of what dummies do, man. <laughs> Mad Dummy is getting caught in all of the dialogue box. I see that. Oh, this music is getting even better. Let's talk to him again. You talk to the dummy. Yeah, it doesn't seem much for conversation. I feel like we're not getting anywhere with this one. Then everything I want will be mine. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, was not expecting that. Mad Dummy is getting, yeah. Okay, talk to him again. Why not? We basically just need to, oops, use his attacks against him. That, I think, is the goal here. Yeah, huh? Oh, should have read that. Oh! Oh, those went everywhere! My dummy is getting caught. Okay. Might need to attack him. I think we'll attack him again after this one. What was their name again? Uh, not sure what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> All right, this time we'll attack him. Not sure if that helps. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, shoot. Ooh, got him good with that one. Get out of my box, man. <laughs> I don't think he even has an HP bar. Feeble, feeble, feeble. Missed. Miss good. Oh yeah, he does. Futile, futile, futile. Yeah, we know. <laughs> hey, 
There you go. Let's see if we can uh, spare him now. Pitiful. Okay. We cannot, I don't think. Dang, he was way too far to the side. That wasn't fair. Uh, let's attack again. So I should probably use a healing item. Oh, hey. Cheap. Alright, um... Let's use our... You... We have two unicycles? Okay, bicycle, unicycle. Duh. Let's use it once it becomes a unicycle. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, futile, I know. There we go. Hey, guys! Oh! <laughs> Excuse me? Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired, you're all being replaced! <laughs> now you see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Yeah, mechanical words fill the room. Talk to him again. You talk to the dummy. Okay, once again, nothing. Dummy bots magic missile! Uh... Ooh, boy. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Mad dummy glares into a mirror, then turns, yeah, same expression. Uh, should we attack him again? Yeah, why not? Doesn't do anything anyway. So... <laughs> oh god! Oh, this just isn't fair. That was really rough. Dummy is doing an armless Scott dance. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's talk to him again. Oh, that was way more doable. Okay, it's kind of a second time. Smells like a clothing store. Yeah, probably. Makes sense. You talk to the dummy. Yeah, nothing. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we're getting interesting here. We're really throwing out all the guns. <laughs> oh, sh shit! No! That was such a long fight, too! Oh, I've died so much today. That's okay. Our fate rests upon you. Marl, stay determined. Okay. We'll try this again. We'll try this again. This dummy sucks. Let's just try fighting it this time. Yes, you tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. Okay, so nothing really changes with that one. You okay there, buddy? I think I might have broken him. Like, legitimately broken him. But we'll see. <laughs> this might be- oh, no, he's good. He's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, shoot! Get him! Oh, okay, good. Whew. <laughs> this is surprisingly tough. No, no, no way! These guys are even worse than the other guys. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! Oh, oh. Oh, he's coming at us on his own. I've got knives! Yeah, you don't need friends when you've got knives. I hear ya. I'm out of knives! Okay, well, that was just knife then, man. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me? Oh, he's freaking hell come. Forever! 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 <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Oh, uh, well, what the heck is this? Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Yeah, see ya, you fucking crazy ghost dummy. Oh, oh, naps to pluck. <laughs> Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. It's okay, buddy. I appreciate the assist. This is easily my other favorite character, probably number one thus far. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. Ooh, is he a fast travel? I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Uh, no, I'll take your offer. Ooh, I want to see how this works. Yeah, let's save. Oh, <laughs> hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Okay, we'll save first. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Save quiet area. Okay, I want to check out his house. But this is probably where I will stop. North Block Acres, East Hotland. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Temi Village. Ooh, looking forward to that. 
Let's check out Naphtha Blook's house. Oh, this is adorable! Whose house is this? It's locked. I think I said his name right anyway. Oh. It looks all run down. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but to make yourself at home. Thanks, man. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. Is he listening to music at his computer? I wonder if he's the one who trolls a <laughs> papyrus. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah, of course. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Oh, never mind. That's okay, buddy. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. <laughs> Why? It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, sure. Okay, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> lead on. Not sure I'd be able to do this by myself. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. <laughs> so, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Okay. What it's like being garbage. Oh, I like it. Very zen, very relaxing. Listen to it. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, give it a like. If you want to join me for the next part of Undertale, wherever that may take us, subscribe. And I do hope to see you there. Bye.